Yeah, do you remember? Do you remember when? Do you remember last summer when everyone was talking about the play graves when they were at their peak, right? All these play graves going on during, you know, a global pandemic, people dying all over the planet. We still haven't got, we still hadn't had a control or any sort of idea of where this virus actually originated from. And here they were, all these DJs who you would assume had the funds in order to kind of weather the storm, outplaying in some of the most desolate and, um, you know, places known to man in some of, you know, maybe more glitzier places um, in an effort to kind of take away the attention from this virus that we were kind of all kind of suffering from right it didn't make any sense at the time it really didn't make any sense but over time people kind of grew to understand and accept it and just move on and not get so triggered by the whole playground things that is what it is but one of the interesting conversations around it was that this idea that how the virus and the lockdowns and the pandemic would somehow make dance music scene and clubbing and bookings and lineups of festivals a lot more interesting because it did feel like prior to the virus that we had reached a point of no return with some of the lineups they were basically copied and pasted from various other events that took place across europe and basically placed in different venues done the same thing again and again you only have to look at some of the lineups that a place like boiler room had deck mantle all these places the same old boring people playing at the same old boring places the same old boring music the same old boring faces right and we felt like enough is enough we need some fresh new energy so people thought hey this really unfortunate circumstance might bring us to a point where we're like you know what we need to take a look at what we're doing and figure out a new direction and figure out a way to maybe uh, promote and highlight local voices, people that we kind of haven't really taken for granted. And one of the places that was really talking about this was London, where I live, right? And London's home of some of the most interesting uh for you know forward thinking music scenes that have ever existed let alone dance music right music in general it's the place to be overall and we probably have maybe the highest concentration of djs um outside of berlin 100 percent that must exist you could probably throw a cd somewhere and hit a dj in any given street in london they exist all over the place and they cover every every john music genre you can think of and every level of experience and every kind of criteria of absolutely smashing a dance so there's no shortage of people that need a spot that need a high they need a spotlight put on them blah blah blah, blah myself included right but i'm speaking about most of the people that are in the kind of middle lower tier of people right out there i'm still kind of low 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 tier but middle lower tier are the guys i'm kind of focusing more on right the ones that kind of need that sort of help so the idea was hey we're in a situation maybe it was be a chance for these promoters and these event bookers to finally shine a light on local talent and instead of booking all these big european names and that would be the kind of legacy of the virus that we have this more diverse localized scene for the interim right for the short period of time people are scared to travel and then when things open up it'll be a far more diverse and interesting lineup when you go see places it won't just be you know a regurgitation of i never bought that i never bought that i knew that was all a bunch of gobbledygook and my first inclination was that was the playgraves themselves every playgrave that i saw with the exception of a couple that happened in ukraine and maybe a couple also that happened in was it yeah the ukraine was the only one yeah ukraine only uh, especially towards maybe the end of last year right ukraine where loads of people like freddie k who was you know going on about people going to playgrounds and he ended up going to one himself or whatever it may be called blah 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 who knows who cares but with the exception of a couple, most playgraves contained some of the biggest names in dance music, right? And it seemed like if you were an event organizer and you were putting on a playgrave, you would be in your best interest to put on an event where you ensure that you are going to sell out the tickets because you're taking a risk for putting on an event that, you know, during a global pandemic, of course, and you wanted to ensure that you got your money back quickly right so that if you did get fined you did have you didn't have the funds in order to kind of draw from in order to pay the fine and also to make sure you cover your nut because you're still having to fly over this dj and you know put him up in a hotel you know whatever it may be so that was my indication that this thing isn't going to change it's still going to be the same or same when things are open so this idea about localized things is all bullshit and it's a good example this is a li announcement lineup from E1, right? One of our more stellar clubs here in London. A club that I went to go see Mind Against play uh, sometime before the lockdown. And they just announced their uh, reopening schedule for DJs and so reopening their reopening events and, you know, a list of people who are going to be playing on certain days. And just look at the names. Look at the names. Alinka, Arm, um, Jimmy Jules, Recondite, Ellen Alien, Rebecca, DVS1, Cormac, Myron, 
Theo and Nasha. Both of those events so far don't feature one person that lives in the UK. Maybe with the exception of Devious One. I'm not too sure if he does. I'm not too sure. Um, then you got for Friday, 27th of August. You got Fag. You got DJ Stingray. Sedef Adisi. Another night, you got Sasha, Jeremy Orlando, Patrice Bauma, Nick Castle, Ash Pintura. You got Ben Clock playing another one here. Bambuno, Adele, Blasher, Nenny H. Who I've seen play a lot of play a lot on those kind of Berlin radio stations and stuff. So a pretty international cast of people are going to be opening up one of our main clubs here in London. Right when they were kind of doing this whole thing about oh we're going to change the scene and things are going to be different bloody blah, blah 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 no they're not and if you thought if it was only going to be Phonics I mean if, if you thought it was only E1 that was at fault look at Phonics look they've got King playing at one of their big nights on a Sunday King playing all night long six hour set and if you look at the list oh it's only it's only that one event no it isn't Jeremy Underground's playing on one of their first events back from lockdown. I love I love from outer space, which obviously is gonna be awesome with DJ Harvey playing, right? Um Radu playing all night long on a Saturday. Jada G, of course, you know, maybe UK adjacent with her with her flipping Canadian links. But oh my god, every single lineup so far just features a complete international cast of DJ. So again, I'm not too bothered about it for me personally, because it doesn't affect me. Again, like I said, I'm a lower tier DJ. I would say most of the mid tape mid tier DJ are the ones that need to kind to be worried a lot more because it looks like they've ne they, they, there's never going to be an opportunity where you're going to have the chance to play at these big clubs and get a chance to maybe play in front of these audiences cultivate an audience or cultivate a fan base uh put your name amongst some of these heavy hitters and just generally get comes to grips with playing in those kind of spaces right there's something about going from playing in a bar or in a basement nightclub somewhere and then it's playing in a place like e1 which is what a thousand maybe two thousand capacity right you need to have that experience of doing that week in week in week in week out as these guys have in their own hometowns right but instead nothing's really going to change really with the music scene as per usual we shouldn't have been surprised really it was all kind of gobbledygook everyone kind of posturing and talking a big game but when it comes down to it Everyone just does what they want to do in it when it comes out to the scene. Everyone just does what they want to do.